What's up everybody, this is Mike. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to this office tour video. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for so long, but personally didn't really think my studio is interesting enough to show you, but I made a couple of purchases recently and I think now it's a bit more presentable so I can show it to you guys. Plus, who doesn't like office tours? I mean, I personally love watching setup tour videos and I really hope you do as well. So without any further ado, I'm ready to start this setup tour. So the first thing you're going to see when you enter the room, first of all, this is the whole room. Let's make a full circle. This is my light here, uh, but this is the whole room. The first thing you're going to see is this huge wardrobe be behind me. This is where I keep all of my suitcases, my backpacks, all of my bags, things for traveling. And on top here is where I keep my other light. Uh, I'm only using one of my lights uh, this is a beast of a light, I really love it, it's very soft. Speaking about light, those curtains behind me are blackout curtains, they completely block out uh, the light from outside and you can make it from a day to a night um, instantly with those curtains. I really love them, although they have flowers on them, but I don't really care about that, I only care about what they do and I'm really happy with uh, how they are working for me. Next we have this mirror behind me, uh, which is a big one and me and my girlfriend recently purchased that. We're going to mount it on the wall and uh, I really like it personally, but uh, that's something that will make the room a bit more interesting, more livable. Uh, it's not going to be just an empty wall. Uh, here we'll have this uh, mirror. Next we have this little desk that I just love, love using for my product shots. This is where I make most of my product reviews with my slider and I really love shooting the products on top of this desk. It's white, it's glossy and it's from the company called Yusk. It's a Danish company, very similar to IKEA. Uh, it's also very cheap, so that's uh, that's a great thing as well. Next, we have this shelf behind me, which is where I keep most of my drone stuff. This is where I keep my Mavic 2 Pro, my Spark, all of my batteries, my filters, all the things I need for a shoot. This is where I like to keep them so I can see them. And when I'm getting ready to go out for a shoot, I just come here, grab them and I'm ready to go. On the top shelf here, we have some quadcopters that are really cheap, very basic ones, but are tons of fun to fly because you don't really care about them. You can crash them, you can do whatever. Uh, next, we have a couple of PS4 games. I mostly play uh, Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5 nowadays. Gran Turismo, Sport, or Red Dead Redemption 2. Those are my go-to games right now. I don't really have a lot of time to play games, but I always like to have a small uh, gaming session every now and then. As you can see here, we have the drones, the accessories, the batteries, stuff like that. Here I have some racing quadcopters that uh, I don't really use that much, but I would love to use them more because they're really fun to fly. And finally, on the bottom here, we have some cases that I use every now and then when I go out. In most cases, I use my backpack, but every now and then it's great to have uh, a case to carry around with you for different situations. The next thing we have in the corner of the room is my PS4 Pro. Like I said, I'm not a huge gamer. I only play a couple of games because I don't really have that much time to play, uh, but I've always been a PlayStation fan, so this is what I use for gaming. Next, I have my headphones, which I use for editing and also for gaming. Those are Audio-Technica, uh, I'm not exactly sure, MX35, M35 or A35. It's with 35 and not exactly sure, but I'll be linking everything that I'm talking about in the description if you wanna check it out. That's what, where you can find it. Next, I have my MacBook Pro 13 inch, no touch bar. Um, this is what I'm using for all of my needs. My uh, editing, my browsing, everything is with this computer right here. It's a bit hard to edit 4K videos on this computer. From time to time, it stutters, even though I use proxies, it's a bit slow for my taste and uh, I will be upgrading next year for sure to something else. And here we have the star of my review. To be honest, this is my newest purchase and something that I'm really, really happy about. This is my 32 inch 
144 hertz BenQ widescreen gaming monitor. It's it's just insane. I upgraded from a 24 inch um, Samsung monitor and this is just mind blowing how good it is for gaming and for editing. This is just spectacular. I really, really love it. It's not 4K, but I don't really need 4K monitor for now at least. I just wanted to get something that is going to be wide, it's going to fit all of my timeline and clips in my projects when I edit. Also good for gaming and I think this is the best of both worlds. It's also USB-C so I can connect my computer very very easy with this cable here. It's just one cable, it charges my computer, it displays everything on the screen and it has USB 3.0 on the back. So I can easily connect my hard drive with just one cable here. Also my speakers, everything connects straight to my monitor. And if I want to use my laptop, I just disconnect the cable and I bring it with me to wherever I want to go. It's so, so amazing, so easy to use and USB-C is the way to go, especially if you're using Mac computers. So I'm quite happy with that setup for now. Um, my keyboard is just a regular keyboard with blue backlit um, light. Also, my mouse is a Logitech MX Master. It's a great product to have when you edit a lot. You can customize the buttons with different settings and you can tweak them to do different things for different apps. And I really like that. So this is the mouse. You can also see my controller for my PS4 Pro, my phone, which is an iPhone 7 Plus, the remote controller for this RGB strip light that I have under my desk, which I really love because it sets the mood. I can change it to whatever I want. And it's just nice to have to create a different mood for your room when you game or when you edit, when you listen to music, you can do whatever. Next, I have this Oki RGB light, which is one of my favorite lights ever. It's just a basic light, but you can change the color and you can also use it as a yellow light, just a regular yellow light with three different settings for uh, how strong you want the light to be. Uh, next, I have my Logitech speakers, which uh, I have been using for maybe five or six years now. I really love them. Those are extremely cheap, but nice for just regular audio. For the most part, I use headphones when I edit, when I game, but every now and then when I want to listen to some music um, with some uh, speakers, this is what I use. One more thing which I want to show you guys is this little thing here, which says drone supremacy. It's a gift from a friend of mine who made it for me for my birthday. Uh, it's a very, very, uh, very nice thing for me. I really love it and I uh, keep it on my desk so I can see it every single day. It's uh, just an emotional present that uh, it's very dear to me. One more thing which you can see behind the monitor is this thing right here. This is a microphone which I use for uh, voiceover. Uh, videos and uh, I'm really happy with the quality that I'm getting for from this microphone. Here on the side I have two tennis rackets because I play tennis and a old PC which I'm not using anymore uh, but it still runs I think and this one as well. It's also a Windows PC that I bought maybe two years ago uh, but I just don't use Windows anymore so I, I just keep it for a backup if I need to, but I don't really use them. On top of that desktop, I have my Osmo uh, Mobile 2. Um, I'm currently waiting for my Osmo Pocket to arrive in a couple of days or a week. What is it? 10 days? Yeah, but anyway, I'm still waiting for that. Uh, the Osmo Mobile 2 is a great thing to have, but I'm very, very excited for the Osmo Pocket. And there we have it, guys. This is where I make my research for my next video. This is where I shoot most of my videos. This is where I edit them. This is where I game, and this is where I spend most of my time during the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. Don't forget to check out the description if you want to see all of the products that I mentioned in this video. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Have a good one. Ciao.